Hey everyone, Alexa here from the blog theduvalhomestead.com. Today I'm going to share with you a summer maternity capsule wardrobe. Okay, so it is mid to late May right now and it is just getting hot all of a sudden and I'm realizing that I need new clothes because I am now pregnant. When I was first pregnant, I saved all my maternity clothes. I thought to myself, I'm going to save so much money. I have all my wardrobe picked out for the next time I get pregnant. Well, guess what? I went underneath the bed here, I pulled out my maternity clothes from last pregnancy. And the problem with that is that they are all huge because I wore them when I was at the end of my pregnancy. So they're super stretched out and they don't even fit. So I kind of realized I had to buy new maternity clothes. I went with a pink and green color theme with this wardrobe. It's so important when you're pregnant to have correct clothing. My first pregnancy, I didn't do a great job. I tried, I just didn't really know the right way to go about buying pregnancy clothes. I basically looked up maternity clothes on Amazon and bought the most comfortable options, which were mostly like sweat pant type outfits. This time, what I did differently was I only bought maternity clothes for the items that really needed to be maternity clothing. For example, pants, anything that goes around the waist, you need to have a belly band or some kind of maternity stretch because there are no pants, even if you get your favorite jeans and a huge size, they're not gonna fit right. So these are just some of the lessons that I learned along the way. So I'm gonna try to trickle some of that information in this video for you. When I was first pregnant, the mistake I made was I didn't realize what you would need to wear for breastfeeding. So everything in this wardrobe is breastfeeding friendly. Basically everything I ever wear these days is breastfeeding friendly. So I have no high necks, anything of that sort. Everything is easy access for this area. One other thing I did differently this time around was I tried to look more cute. I know that sounds weird, but my first pregnancy, I just was so focused on comfort, which is great and that's really important. But I was determined to match comfort with something cute. And what I mean by that is just not sweatpants. I felt like I was in sweatpants my entire pregnancy. So I was really looking forward to getting something that I felt a little more put together and that I could go out in. And I didn't know if I was gonna find that or not because it's hard, but I did find it, so I'm very happy. Okay, so this is meant to be a capsule wardrobe, which means it can mix and match with each other. It's meant to be the only thing that you wear for a certain period of time. And this is all I am wearing right now. So if I showed you my closet right now, which I'm looking at behind the camera, the only other things I have in the closet that you're not gonna see today are a handful of non-pregnancy clothes, like some formal dresses, um, things that I would wear when I'm not pregnant that I really like and I wanna keep. So I'm keeping some things, obviously, I'm not throwing those away because one day I won't be pregnant again. So I'm pushing those to the back of the closet. The other thing that's still in my closet are some sweaters and coats and jackets. You don't need to buy maternity jackets and we're going into summer, so I didn't show you those today, but I do have some cardigans, sweaters, and so obviously I'm adding that to the wardrobe too, but I'm not gonna be showing you that today. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is tank tops. I lived in tank tops during my postpartum period. You need them, absolutely essential for breastfeeding, and they're comfortable. The other thing I don't like when I'm pregnant is a lot of bras or anything tight. And I found these tank tops from Gap. They're called Gap Body, and they have a built-in bra. It's, you know, light support, so you can't go running in it, but it's a lined shirt that you can wear without a bra if you're comfortable with that. And I love it. I actually went back and bought more because it's so comfortable, I can throw it on, and then I throw a sweater or a cardigan over it if I'm, you know, if it's not super hot out. But if it is hot out, I'm in a tank top. So for the tank tops, I got them in pink and green and black. So I got three with the built-in support. I also got a couple without the built-in support for the days that I do have a sports bra on. I'm currently wearing this one. It's hard to see because it's nude. But for bras and underwear, I'm not gonna get into that in this video. I will include it on the blog post though, so I'll link that below, but I really like to buy organic cotton when it comes to undergarments. And I buy that from Packed Apparel, so P-A-C-T, and you can go to wearpacked.com is the name of the website. Anyway, they always have sales, and you can get like three at a time, and they are super soft and organic cotton, which is important to me, especially as something that's gonna be touching my body, so. Anyway, that'll be linked in the blog post below if you're looking for undergarments that fit with pregnancy as well. These are left over from my first pregnancy, so. Okay, so for the pants and bottoms, the first thing I have on that you see here are the white shorts. Now, here was the lesson I said earlier, is if you're gonna buy maternity clothes, the one thing you should buy in maternity for sure are pants or shorts, anything that's gonna go on your legs. They have this thing called a belly band, which when I was first pregnant, I thought to myself, this is so silly, I don't want this fabric on my stomach. 
And yes, I get it. You don't want anything touching your stomach, especially when it's hot. It's another layer, right? True, but you will be happy that you traded the belly band for comfort when you try these on. I've never been able to find a good pair of pregnancy jeans or shorts that weren't sweatpants. So they're both jean shorts, they're white jean shorts, and the same brand makes a skinny jean. Boy, I wish I had these in my first pregnancy. The reason these are so comfortable is because there is no seam that is right in front of your bladder in your lower stomach, abdomen, hip area. So the belly band allows you to wear what feels like a sweatpant. It's got the feeling of a sweatpant or a yoga pant, but it looks like jeans and your belly's never showing, right? You have a shirt on over the top, so no one will see the belly band. So I'm all about it now. <laughs> Even though my first pregnancy, I was like, I'm not gonna wear that, that's so silly. Oh my gosh, I'm all about it. Plus, here's something you should know, if you're newly pregnant, you're belly does not go away right away after you have the baby. So when you have your baby, you're gonna have this moment where you're like, I had the baby, I'm so happy, I feel, you're gonna feel amazing because you're gonna feel smaller, but your belly's not flat and so you need something to wear. So what's nice about the belly band is it's straight, you can stretch it out, but it can also go right back in. So it's not like it's cotton, it's not gonna overstretch, it's going to remain elastic whether you are small or big. So I'm so excited because I already have my jeans and my shorts teed up for postpartum, which takes months to get back to your regular size, if not a year or more. These are such a good investment. That's probably part of the problem with my first pregnancy was I was like really cheap and really didn't want to spend money on clothes because I was like, I'm only gonna wear these once. But you wear them more than you think because postpartum, you still have a little bit of a pregnant body for a while. So one tip for you, just invest, buy the right stuff because you'll wear it for probably a year. <laughs> and then if you get pregnant again, you'll have it ready to go. I didn't have a single pair of jeans or anything for my first pregnancy because like I said, everything was, I bought was cotton. It was all sweatpant kind of material and none of it lasted because it got stretched out. So don't do that. Lastly, in the pant department, I have these loose fitting pants and I really wanted a nice wide leg, summery, light and airy kind of pant that wasn't a sweat pant or a yoga pant. And these were the perfect find. I bought these from Nordstrom and what made me buy them was a review. Someone wrote a review that said, I'm not pregnant, but I love these pants and I wear them constantly and I'm buying a second pair. And I was like, done. Because like I said, it's not about the pregnancy. I wanna be able to wear these postpartum and longer if possible. So I actually have bought a second pair of these. These were not cheap, so I was hesitant to buy a second pair, but because I wear the white ones so much, I decided it would be worth it. So I went ahead and ordered a second pair and it's not here yet. I got a second pair in like a dark red color and these are white. I just can't tell you how soft they are. They are super comfortable and light and soft and they feel like you've got nothing on. So for the summer months, I just can't wait to be in these. And what's nice about them is they are casual looking like a sweatpant, but they also can be dressed up. So if you put, you know, Know, like one of those tank tops. I've done a tank top with like a collared sweater over the top and it's very beautiful. I just got back from a vacation where I wore these while we were walking on the beach and the breeze was pushing up the pant leg and it, I felt totally formal. I didn't feel like I was wearing a sweatpant or anything like that. Moving on, I'm going to show you some dresses now. First, the dress I'm wearing in this video right here, one of my absolute favorites. This is from Nordstrom. It's super soft. It is non-maternity. So maybe when I am super big, it will become maybe too short to wear. However, I can just put shorts underneath it or even the white baggy pants and it will still be fine. But I love this because I'll look forward to wearing it after the baby as well. I love any dress that has a cinch in the center um, near the rib cage because it's really flattering for your belly. And of course, nursing friendly. Like I said, everything is nursing friendly. This has buttons on it. A great find. I've been wearing it nonstop and I love it. And then I have this dark green dress. This is another basic, I call it like a house dress. <laughs> it can be dressed up or dressed down. You can wear it with leggings if it's cold or even jeans, or you can wear it over a swimsuit. It can go in so many different directions, but it's got that nice low neckline, cute little shoulders. It's just a very basic dress, very comfortable. You can garden in it, cook in it, whatever. Okay, the next two dresses are vacation dresses because whether or not you're even going on vacation, summer is a time that you go to the beach or the lake or you just kind of usually want to get out and feel that vacation vibe. So that's what these are for. The first one is a really cute pink oversized 
you have to have something to throw on over a swimsuit. So that's what this is really for is over the swimsuit. The next one is red and longer. So this is the kind of thing I would pull out for summer dinners when you know you want something covering your legs because it's late at night, maybe there's mosquitoes out or something, but you still wanna be in a nice light and airy dress because it's still hot. The last dress is a more formal dress. I absolutely love this dress. I'm gonna be ordering more for this from this company in the future. Just need to save money first a little bit because trying to only buy what I need, but this company makes mommy and me dresses. So I bought the same dress for Allison, my daughter, and my mom also got the same dress and we took these pictures of the three generations and we all wore this dress. It was my pregnancy announcement pictures and it was so precious. So big fan of this company. I will link it below. What I like about this kind of dress is you can wear it to any formal occasion. You could, you know, when you're pregnant, you're bound to have a wedding or a formal dinner or something that you're going to at some point. So this dress I got in a large size, so I have plenty of room to grow and it will last me through postpartum and beyond as well. Okay, now I wanna show you some workout clothes. When I was pregnant the first time, my workout attire was, like I said, sweatpants mostly. And one thing I didn't know when I was first pregnant is that your chest size is going to grow. I mean, I think I knew that intuitively, but I didn't know what that would mean for me workout wise because I'm someone who exercises a lot. I'm also very small chested normally before pregnancy. So my sports bras stopped working and I found myself confused because I've never been very busty. I've never had to figure out how to control the situation while working out because I've never had a situation. <laughs> that makes sense. So now I know though, and I have a solution. What I did for this pregnancy was I bought two sports bras. One was a medium size and one was for the larger size. When you are postpartum, this is another thing I learned the first time, you have even a bigger chest than when you were pregnant because your milk is now in. And so again, if you're gonna be working out, you need something that's gonna support that. And it's not what you have currently because it's you're gonna double in size. I will link all this in the blog post, like I said, but this sports bra is amazing. I'm already starting to fit it. And then I have a smaller one for the earlier stages of pregnancy. And then finally, when I go back down a little bit smaller, and that is from Lululemon. Then I got workout shorts that I'm so excited about. These have a belly band. Like I said, I'm now a big fan of the belly band. Before I would work out in just like these sweat shorts and then they would just fall down. They'd be sitting so low. The other thing about the belly band that you may not know is it provides a little bit of support too. So if you're jumping around and moving, you don't want a bouncing belly, that's not comfortable. So the belly band provides you a little bit of support. And then I have this workout top that's the same shade of pink. It's really pretty, it's got some straps. What's nice about this top is it's very versatile so you can wear it just loosely or you can kind of tie it on the rib cage. I like to tuck it under my sports bra and I have it available for like wiping sweat. I know that might sound really gross to some people, but I only work out at home and I don't have much time to do it. So I don't go and get like a towel. I just use my shirt and then I wash it afterward. So that doesn't matter to me, but yes, that's what I do. And this shirt works perfectly for that. So I like to have a baggy shirt. Like I don't like to wear tight clothes when I work out because I like to have something that is baggy and makes me feel better for some reason. Okay, well, thanks for joining me. I hope you found this helpful, especially if you're newly pregnant. Congratulations, enjoy the journey. I'm sure you'll make some mistakes when it comes to buying clothes, but hopefully this helped you coming from a someone who's done this at least once before. At the link below, you'll see all the details for the items I talked about today, and I'll probably include a little bit more because I'm sure I'm forgetting one or two. And I have a spring maternity capsule wardrobe. I'll go ahead and link that one from my first pregnancy so you can see what I got. I'm not saying everything in there was bad, it's just that it didn't last. But at the time, I certainly did enjoy it. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead. There's a whole different selection of clothing in that one. You have to do what's best for your body and what feels good, that is for sure. Well, if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Every week I post a new video on farm to table recipes and homemade natural living. Thank you so much for stopping by the Duval Homestead.